To the Rochester Monroe County Homelessness Continuum of Care has a new name and logo. They're now called Partners Ending Homelessness. It's reaffirming their goal of ending the cycle of homelessness. Josh Navarro has this story for us. This woman we're about to hear says that drugs is what led her to homelessness, and this organization believed in her to have a better outcome. I became caught up in a life of drugs and crime. Couldn't get stable living, stable housing for anything. I was homeless and hopeless on the streets, ended up in prison. Lisa Buscemi would seek help at Jennifer House, but would continue to relapse. The fear of death triggered her to make a change. I was afraid to die with the epidemic the way it is right now. I was afraid to die, um, but I didn't know how to stop. Me going to prison is what saved my life. I thank the judge for giving me a second chance on life again. Lisa now has two jobs and is moving into a brand new apartment. And it's advocates like the now newly named Partners Ending Homelessness that made a big life impact on her. If they didn't believe in me and help me through my homelessness and believe in myself, I don't know where I'd be today. Probably dead, to be honest with you. Helping other women overcome the struggles and challenges she once faced is her way of giving back. Do not give up on them. Believe in them. Because if someone didn't believe in me, I don't know where I'd be today. In Rochester, Josh Navarro, News 8. Partners Ending Homelessness will be hosting a symposium on September 24th at the Hyatt Hotel. To learn more, just log on to our website, rochesterfirst.com.